Well, it's up, everybody. I'm Mischief, and thank you for joining me. So I'm just out here, just doing my daily walk. I walk about, I don't know, five, six miles, even in the snow, every day, with or without my pack, just depends. But, yeah, today I just wanted to do a quick video because I've gotten a lot of new followers, and it's been a long time since I've made this video, so a lot of people probably don't know or haven't seen. So, basically, real quick, I just want to say why I'm hiking out through hiking the Appalachian Trail in 2022, and how exactly did I get my trail name, Mischief? So, basically, the reason I'm through hiking the Appalachian Trail in 2022 northbound starting February 15th a couple reasons a lot of y'all may not know but me and AT has unfinished business in 2018 I was hiking to AT southbound and I had an accident that led to me falling in the creek got frostbite the deep kind that goes all the way down to the bone and it ended my hike and ended a lot of stuff in my life my whole life got completely turned completely upside down when that happened I didn't only lose half of my feet I lost my house everything but that did not make me lose my love for hiking if anything it made it more so so now as an amputee i have a list of 40 trails 26,000 miles i want to complete as an amputee all while trying to inspire as many people as i possibly can to do what they want to in life not just dream their dreams but act on it and do everything you can to work towards your dreams. As of right now, I have completed six of the trails, a little under, well, pretty much right at 2,000 miles. In 2020, I had a bright idea I was ready to do a long distance hike, not even a year after my amputations. But I ended up going Georgia to PA, only going eight miles a day. That's all I could do. But I knew from the get go, there was no way I was gonna make it all the way. I just wanted to push myself, push my limits and prove all the doctors wrong that I could get out here and do this. I've come a long way since then. As many of y'all know and seen, I've been I've through hiked all kinds of different trails since 2020. Well, this well 2021. So now it's time for the AT. The AT is near and dear to my heart. Yes, it's the place I had my accident. Most people would not step foot back on the trail because they'd be scared or PTSD or something like that. But the AT and the community around it is like no other trail I've ever been on. The people make the trail. And the people around the Appalachian Trail are some of the best people you could ever be around. So, 2022, I'm hopefully going to be checking off the Appalachian Trail and trail number seven off of my 40 trail list. It's just, yeah, I, I just want to basically just complete it in a through hike as an amputee, along with all the rest of the National Scenic Trails and 38 others. <laughs> so, 
How did I get my trail name? Missed it. Well, in 2015, I was doing this section and I met up with some through hikers. We was over near Bland, Virginia on the Appalachian Trail. I got the bright idea because there's a killer view there in the wintertime. They've cut it open and made it wide open since then. But I climbed up to the top of a tree, take a picture. It was only maybe 0.4 from a road. <laughs> Excuse me. But uh, yeah, when I come started coming down the tree, this older gentleman and this little itty big girl, she had to been, I don't know, eight, nine, ten, something like that. She was young. Well, I was coming down the tree, they was coming up the trail. Right about the time they passed under the tree I was coming down, the limb I was coming down on broke. I come falling down out the tree, probably about, I don't know, nine, ten foot. Landed straight on my butt. Made all kinds of noise coming down. But that man, he must have thought I was, well, he didn't must have, he did. He thought I was a bear coming down the tree. <laughs> So he picked up the little girl, took off running, then turned around to see exactly what it was. And he thought, I jumped out of the tree trying to scare him. And he said, effing kids in their mischief these days. And then he started laughing. And then, but he never even once asked me if I was okay. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I got my trail name. Somebody thought I was a bear coming down out of a tree to eat him, I guess. <laughs> but yeah that's a little backstory on why i'm through hiking the at even though i've hiked all over it for a long time it's just it's on my list and the people just how i was saying like the community around the at is like no other and i just love 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 the trail and even if i complete it this year i guarantee you i would do it again at some point or continue like doing real long sections of it day t it's just near and dear to my heart but yeah that's my why and how i got my trail name so yeah hope you all had a great day have an even better night and I will talk to y'all on the next one.